And welcome back to the next episode. I believe this is episode 18. And I just realized we can move this up a teeny tiny bit with no problems. So let's do that a little bit. Uh, I want to put some turrets there, so let's just move it up one. There we go. And then... How many can I fit? Two turrets? Beautiful. Put a substation. Put that. Okay, yeah. That is a protected train yard right there. We are going to clear these trees out to get the rail moving up. So it should be one grenade. Yeah. I think I got time. Oh god. Die. Run away. Throw grenades. Run away. <laughs> Two grenades at my own rail. Jeez. Yeah, I, I would, my character would 100% die. I, c I could not survive that at all. Whatsoever. I don't have energy shields. I only have a shitty SMG or weapons. There's, there's, we would not survive that. Okay. Uh, that's all cleared up. Let's plan this rail yard out. So... Probably gonna make a circle here for the rail system. Make up my rail circles. No, nope, wrong. That's the wrong one. Definitely don't want that one. Make this one. So we need to clear these trees. And we need some... You know what? Let's make a rail blueprint. New blueprint book. Rail stuff. I don't know how to put things into blueprint books. Jesus Christ, I'm bad. Stop it. I don't know how to do this. There we go. There we go. So. There we go. Uh.
Rail unload, so we need rail load. So let's move rail load into there. Load and unload. And then... So this I did not make. This someone made. Uh, it's too big. It Look how wide it is. It's too much space. So I do compact stuff like that. Uh, it's the nuclear. That's my Carvax. This I stole from someone online in that online game. Uh, that's my bots. I made those bots. Thank God I have a blueprint for that. I don't have to make that. <coughs> then plastic I had over made already and didn't use that. And then yeah, so let's get this blueprint rail stuff in my library. Rail stuff. There we go. There we go. But I'm not even going to use it there. God damn it. And max lazy mode. Okay. That's... we have to clear that nest. Let's go clear that nest. Just a little bit. Good thing there's not something like a gargantuan worm or something crazy like that. That'd be... That'd be too much. Let's make the tank in a safe position, actually. So if we leave it out there, it'll just get attacked. Wrap it up for the next trip out. Pew. Pew. And let's actually make another circle here. Can I fit a train in there? It'd be cool if I could fit a train in there. Let's try and fit a train in there. So biters normally don't attack rails. So they attack your structures once they're like blocking you. So rails don't block you. So they should, most of the time, just run right over them. They will attack them if they run into something near the rail, and then they'll look for, like, player structures near you, and then they'll attack your, your shit. But they shouldn't do that by default.
I know, Iron. I'm coming for you. Don't worry. I'm working on it. Okay, let's get some signals down. Bullet shooting speed to clear fighters better with the tank still. I guess we can work on that for a bit. Okay, a basic rail network set up. So I do uh, a clockwise rotation around a rail system. I do a two rail system with clockwise board rotation. Let's check this to manual test if I could fit the train in certain places. Can it fit in here? Uh, yes it can. Perfect. Can it fit in here? Yes it can. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Okay. So let's uh, get to building the rail system up towards the iron pocket. Actually, we need more iron. We need more iron to make rails to get more iron. Just like this very start of the game. More iron to build more furnaces, to build more drills, to build more things, to build more stuff. No, same, same exact stuff. Steel. Now we need more stone. avoid that water so we're gonna go up off this one Brunky. Oh, 
Thank you. Tank clearing away. That's not far enough over to warrant a, an extra circle. So we'll do a normal turnaround circle up top here. Probably about one more. We'll do a normal turnaround circle here. And then we will continue back down the path. But I made a mistake. There we go. just go perfectly straight. I'd like to not aggro these. Actually, it's okay if I aggro them. I didn't anyway. So now it's time for a tree clearing with the tank. And there we go. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada bum. Let's move the tank in a bit to rip it up. Check it. Looks good. Let's go clear that biter nest right up there. Which is just leaving right now. Perfect time. So the turrets can deal with that. We can deal with the weak defenses. Oh god. Got stuck. There we go. So when you destroy rocks by running into them, you auto pick up whatever they spit out. It's not the full amount, like see that's, it says 20 stone, it'll only spit out like 10 or 15 or something, it won't give you the full amount. But let's start setting up some rail signals after we set up the power lines. So we need some more copper for that first. Which we're probably just going to steal from these lines right here. What? Now we need steel? Oh, great. Perfect. We gotta go back anyway. <coughs> Oh, I had an engine box that never got rid of there. What was I making? I'm sick, I don't remember. Uh, so we need a steel car. Poles! 15, oh, we need more than that. God, we need a bunch of steel. We also need some substations. for now.
So this is not max compact, but you know, that's going to be full of a bus, that's going to be full of a bus. Like a, a lubricant line or some shit will be going through stuff or, you know, so it's okay. I do have fuel. Okay. Smack dab center Let's get you power too. There we go. Okay, too fast, too fast, too furious. Calm down there, Skippy. <coughs> okay, uh... Let's get some train signals up. Circle down? Okay, that's done. So I place these manually because that's not always the same. Every other power pole, so I see one train can fit right in this little cozy hole. And then. So every two. Good. So now we want to start getting some mining drills actually. And we need a ton because we're gonna we're gonna fill up that whole pocket. So let's put a station here. Now this is temp station, so temp. And let's go back home. You know, you can manually do this, but, like, pilot the train, but just, just going through, having it take you home is much, much easier. So, we need to make the mining drills, and lots of them. I'm going to scoop these up, the ones that aren't spinning. Let's go scoop up some iron, and then we'll go back on out. And we'll put the, the rocks back in there. We don't need them anymore. <coughs> and we'll pick up some copper, too. And while we're at it, let's make a steel offshoot. Oh. 
Only three. So we got power going out. Oh, another little tacky. A small one. And then we're going to start. Oh, there's even a little mini. We'll just, we'll just do the big 2.6 million. For now. And then we are going. We got enough green circuits. We need stack inserters. That's what we need before we go. Do we have enough for that? No, we do not. So. Uh, that takes 12. So I need 12 times 4 is 48. So I need 48 of those fuckers before I even go out there. So. We're not crafting that many gears. We're gonna go get that. Wow. Uh, we also need some steel chests. Need 48 of those as well. need fast inserters a bunch of them cool uh. mining productivity sure <coughs> oh, not making gears of stuff. Just need some more gears. Oh, we don't have any? Oh, perfect. Now we're in the shit for the iron shortage. Uh does that take iron? No, yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna use these. Okay, so we're good on those. We need a lot more of these. And then we need a bunch of yellow and red belts. those furnaces we don't need these pipes right now to be honest and we need more iron now <coughs> okay that should be everything Should be. Time. Go. I don't have my tank with me. We're going to go grenade that right now. 
kill it or whatever. Yeah, that was an expansion. So let's grenade these trees down. And I'll start placing mining drills. In the next episode. See you next time. Bye.